Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. And, and I always, and you know me, I go right on back to structure. You know, far as when you, I mean, because of where we're at today in society, is it far as gangs go, and far as the way that the the, the culture is. Do we want to see change with the youth? Do we want to see children and everybody else detour those things and try to do things in a different way? Well, yeah, when you say, do you want to see change? And just like I interjected to you earlier, a lot of them start off thinking about they want to do change and they want to, you know, you hear ex-gang members always talking about we doing it for the kids. No, nigga, you're doing it for yourself. You're trying to get be seen. You change from what, your intention was you get on front of camera, you get to boasting about stuff that you really didn't do and you really wasn't a part of. You didn't make up this. And so now you're just like rappers, just hearing stuff. So when it ends up, it don't be about the kids because if it was yeah, about like the kids, yeah. if it was about the kids, we wouldn't be in the situations we are with our little uh, fragile egos. That's right. If, if we thought it was a bigger order, it could nothing that could be said to me if I had another intent. But they say before destruction is the ego, you know, and so we start playing on who I am and what I did. And you ain't done nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing I, I look at is uh, when, when I look at, like I, and, and like I told you when we was in L.A., well, I alluded to the fact of a lot of people, a lot of kids in the culture in the South, um, after they seen colors or whatever, or me being in East Texas, Shreveport was right there. So you was influenced by a lot of those guys moving down there is what we, this is how we ended up, uh, you know, even knowing about gangs, period. You know, we was influenced by movies and, and stuff like that, but we never really, that wasn't our thing, not mine down here. But at the end of the day, a lot of times you see people portraying that now. Is there anything that, it, it should there be a deterrent now you know, far as after you see all the killing that go on, is this something to where we should be saying, hey, man, this ain't the way we should be going with it far as gangs? Well, I, I guess we all say that. You know, we all could say uh, this shouldn't be the way it was. But then, again, the portrayal is so prolific that what you're saying is one ear out the other. Okay. You know? So, I mean, it's a, it's a hard job. A lot couldn't get one. So if you can get one, you done done God's world. You know what I'm saying? You done done the work. But to think you can save everybody, can't nobody save everybody. You know? Yeah. So you have to keep on not talking the talk, but walk the walk. Show it every day. Being I'm in I'm in my hood every day. Yeah. I'm in my park every day. As a grown man. I'm I'm not I told Marv, I'm not OG Marv to them, I'm Mr. Kenzie. I earned that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not your playmate. I'm not, your, but I'm trying to just show, like, damn, bro. You know, we got to. I can't tell you to pick up your pants because if I'm just worried about your pants, if I ain't trying to get your head, the head will what you're wearing, or yeah. how you wearing it. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to get a concept together as a unit. Who are we trying to really save? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.